Okay, everyone, welcome in. It is day 34 of the 12 Days of Whiskey with Kevin. It is do whatever the heck you want to day here on 12 Days of Whiskey. And so I'm going to throw out a couple of things. Uh, what I would not normally do for you, but I'm going to go old school and keep it real. Uh, so thanks for sending in what you wanted to have reviewed. And I'm just going to do a bunch of them at the same time. But I'm going to tell you some do's and some don'ts. I'm going to start off with this little gem here. Uh, this is BSB. It is Brown Sugar Bourbon by Heritage Distillery. It's actually not because it's a local place. I like to give these guys props to make a good product. So, uh, wow. Tastes like brown sugar. Good job. All right, next one. Yukon Jack. Jappel. Jack Apple. Wonder what this is going to taste like. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I taste apple. Wow. Go figure. All right. I'm not going to do this, but you remember this. Maybe when you were younger, you had some of this stuff. Gold Schlager. This is the stuff that you drink uh, by itself when you just got into your parents' liquor cabinet or something else, somebody else's liquor cabinet, and it has little gold flakes in it. I'm not going to drink it because I don't want to. That's the kind of the pattern we're going with, people. And here is one that you do not want to drink straight. Bacardi 151. Uh, this might end in bad decisions, unless you're drinking Spanish coffees, and that could still end in bad decisions if you drink too many of them. But hey, here's the, uh, in terms of the theme for tonight, musically, I'm going to lay this out for you. Running with the Devil by Van Halen. Keep that in your mind as we go through the featured whiskey of tonight, Fireball. Okay, now I normally wouldn't do this. I'm only doing it for you. <laughs> you, you I've had this in the liquor cabinet for probably five years, ten years, I don't know, long time. Um, I don't think I've even opened it. Oh, barely opened it, maybe just to smell it. And I said to you, this smell to me, it's like what we dipped in, like cinnamon oil, we dipped toothpicks in it when we were kids. How stupid was that? But anyway, this is right along those lines of, what? I did what last night? This is what's going to happen. So you're going to drink a lot of this Fireball. It's made by Sazerac. So it's, you know, what's funny is that... Um, I've done a lot of whiskeys from made by Sazerac, and I've got another one coming up in a few days. Um, these guys really make good product, but it's just funny to me that this is the kind of thing that gets you to fight or into a fight or into jail or things that you wish you didn't do. So um, whatever, if that cooks your chicken, go with it. I'm just going to swig it. Oh, God. No, no, no. Ah, oh, I still can't do it. I mean, it takes me back to so many memories that I probably should have forgotten, but I didn't. I literally did this just for you. Again, Fireball, I had to drink it out of the bottle. That's how, that's what you do with Fireball. You say, oh, hey, can I grab that bottle for you? And then you pay way too much for it. And then you drink it all. And the thing only has like, uh, what is it? 60 something proof. Uh, yeah, 66 proof. So it's not like the stuff that I'm reviewing normally, but for some reason, this is like the devil. It'll just crawl up inside and then you'll be running with the devil. So for all of you that wanted me to taste this, you're welcome. Now we will resume normal programming and get back to some really good stuff. Until then, thanks for joining me on the 12 Days of Whiskey with Kevin.